Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meesha once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problem sum based on value of supply under GST, also known as goods and service tax. Again, a very important topic. In this video, we are going to learn, uh, you know, the concept about what is value of supply and we will be taking up two problem sum in order to understand how to solve all exam related problem sums. Okay. So, before starting with how to solve, let us go through a small introduction about what is value of supply, what are the rules, what is the format and thereafter we will be taking up two sums in order to understand that concept. Now, the value of supply in common term is nothing but the amount paid by the recipient of supply to the supplier as consideration for supply, which is also known as the transaction value. So basically it's nothing but the amount that you're going to pay to buy something. It means value of supply is the figure upon which tax is levied and collected. It is important to know to ascertain the correct value of supply for correct levy of GST. Okay, so only if you know what is the value of the goods, only on that you will able to find ki what is the amount of GST which you need to pay. Valuation rules determine value of goods or service or both on which tax under GST has to be charged. So in other words, it is nothing but the total amount of the bill for your goods or services. To understand this better, let us go through the format of value of supply. Okay, now in order to calculate the value of supply, the very first thing what you need to note down is the value of supply goods or services. That is your original value of your product. To that, we need to add all the taxes other than GST. Add all the sets and duties. Add all expenses which are incurred by the supplier. Add all expenses incurred by the recipient on behalf of the supplier. We add all the subsidy other than the government subsidy. Government subsidy is exempted. Other than that, it will be added to the value of supply. Okay. When you add up all this, we get gross value of supply. To that, we need to subtract discount if it is given. And less GST, which is already inclusive. If your original value of supply contains GST, okay, so we'll have to first remove the GST, get the gross value, okay. On that, whatever will be your final value of supply, on that again, we'll have to charge GST. So first thing, we'll have to subtract GST, which is inclusive. Okay, so value of supply, you add up all the other expenses, you minus discount and GST inclusive, if any, okay, whatever will be your net amount, that is nothing but your value of supply. So in order to put this in, in graphical point of view, value of supply is nothing but the value of goods and services. To that, you have to add all the taxes other than GST, you add up all your cess and duties, all expenses incurred by the supplier and recipient on behalf of supplier, all the subsidy other than government, you add up all this to the value of goods and services and you subtract discount or GST inclusive if any. Okay, so when you add up value and less, okay, to the value of goods and services, finally whatever bill comes up, that is nothing but your value of supply. Okay, so to understand this, let us take the very first problem sum and try to find out the value of supply. Okay, now to understand uh, the topic on value of supply, we are going to take up two very, very, very important sum. Okay, which will clear all your doubt based on this particular topic. Okay, so this is the very first question. We are going to take up two sums which will clear all your doubts. Okay, so this is the question number one. Uh, Measures Gurunath, a registered supplier, provides you the following detail with respect to contract entered with MS uh, Sisha Enterprises for the supply of goods. So whenever you get, you know, a sum where the question is having this particular statement has entered into, uh, you know, a, another person, another party for supply of goods is always based on value of supply. Okay. After that, they are giving you value of goods inclusive of IGST. This particular price has already GST in it. Okay, whenever it is inclusive, always remember we will have to remove the value out. Uh, then they are giving you taxes other than GST, uh, expenses which were incurred by Guruna, who is the supplier, expenses which were incurred by uh, 
Shisha Enterprise on behalf of Guru Nath. So recipient had incurred some expense on behalf of the supplier. Expenses which were incurred by uh, Shisha Enterprise, that is the recipient, not on behalf of the supplier. And lastly, subsidy of 2000 was received from Udyan and NGO. Uh, calculate the value of supply, also calculate the tax paid. Now, this is all what has been mentioned in that particular question. Now, let us see how to solve this. Again, a very simple way. Just you have to keep in mind our format that we had discussed earlier. That first, you always need to note down the value of supply or the list price. Second, you keep adding all the things. Okay, You have to add all your expenses which are other than GST. All your sales, all your expenses incurred by the supplier. All the expenses incurred by the recipient other than uh, on behalf of the supplier. All the subsidy which are not government related, less discount. Okay, whatever you get the answer, that will be value of supply. On that, you will have to find your IGST, GST, whatever has been given to us. Okay, now in the sum, they are giving you IGST. So we will have to take uh, the value on IGST. Okay, so now let us see how you start. Okay, so we'll note down the format is there. So we'll just have particulars. Particulars and amount. Okay, now the very first thing is the list price. Now it was given in the question that, you know, uh, it is inclusive of IGST. Okay, the value is given that value of good inclusive of IGST at 18% is 1,88,800. So we need to first get the value of supply or you can say the list price. Okay, so I'll write here a list price. Now the amount is inclusive, meaning that 1,88,800 is inclusive of GST of IGST of 18% and we have to remove that 18% out okay whenever there is inclusive always keep this method in mind if base is 100 and 18% is IGST can I say this entire amount is nothing but 118% because it already includes 18% of GST we need to only find the value other than the GST so we need to find uh, the value of 100% so you know we are finding the basically the value of X so then we have to just cross multiply 1,88,800 into 100 divided by 118. The value that you all should get is 1,60,000. So this is the value other than GST, okay, exclusive of GST. 1,88,800 into 100 divided by 118, 1,60,000 was your list price. So our sum will always start with list price. Now we keep adding one by one whatever things have been given to us, okay. So first they gave us uh, expenses other than GST so yes taxes sorry yes it will appear other than GST yes it gets added so taxes other than GST the amount is 18,500 will be taken into consideration okay the next thing which is given there is expenses which are incurred by Gurunath so yes all those expenses add we will have to write add expenses which are incurred, incurred by the supplier that was insurance charges, uh, freight charges, designing charges, okay, which had the value of 8000. 5,000 and 6,000. So all the expenses which are incurred by the supplier needs to be considered. Second, all the expenses incurred by the recipient on behalf of the supplier, which is the next adjustment. Following expenses were incurred on behalf of Gurunath. That is testing charges. Yes, that also will be considered. So testing charges is 3,000 rupees. Next, uh, expenses of 3000 are incurred on transportation by Shisha Enterprise, but not on behalf. If it is not on behalf, cannot come here. Recipient expense, that is his personal expense, it cannot appear here. So we ignore that. Next, subsidy is given. So yes, other than government subsidy needs to be noted down. So there is a subsidy of 2000 rupees. We will note it down. Okay, that's it. Nothing else is given that. So we'll, we'll add up the value. So I get... 1,60,000 plus 18,500 plus 8,000 plus 5,000 plus 6,000 plus 3,000 plus 2,000. So our value comes to 2,2,500. Okay. Now on this amount, we need to add, in this case, sum it was given IGST, IGST at the rate of 18%. 
So into 18 percent, if I do, I get the value of 36,450. You add it with your 202500 and we will get our total value of supply which is 238950 This is nothing but my value of supply. Okay. So this was the very first sum in which G the list price had uh, GST inclusive. So we'll have to remove the GST. This is the method to do that and thereafter we have to just go as per the format. So this was the very first sum. Okay, I hope everyone have understood that. Now we will be picking up the second sum again based on value of supply with a different a, a bit of twist in it. Okay, so let us see the second variation how to solve that particular sum. Okay, the second question these are uh, Mrs. Shivai Udyog has provided the following particular relating to the goods sold by it to its Ganesh enterprise again sold by it whenever you have this contract with another party is always based on value of supply they are giving you list price of the goods exclusive of expense taxes and discount 60,000 now this sum is exclusive of tax the previous sum was inclusive so these are the two variations next tax levied by municipal corporation on above goods primary packing extra protein packing CGST SGST special printing weightment charges after the adjustments are given as uh, the Ganesh enterprise receive 5000 as subsidy from life is good a non-profit making organization price of 60,000 is after considering such subsidy uh, Shivai Udyo offers 5% discount on the list price so now there is discount also here determine the value of supply of goods made by them and calculate CGST and SGST at 2.5% each so, so now let us see how to solve this again very simple we'll note down the format that will be particulars and amount first will always be the list price or the value of supply so here the list price is exclusive so direct amount will take it as 60,000 you add tax levied other than GST so yes tax levied will come which is 10,000 next is primary packing okay yes that, that is also an expense it will appear which is 2500 next is extra protective packing so extra packing yes that is also an expense which is 1000 will be added next is CGST and SGST cannot appear here so that is excluded next is special printing Okay, special printing is 2500 and weightment charges. Weightment charges is 2000. So we have added that also. Next is Ganesh Enterprise receive 5000 as subsidy from life. Now that's not in government. So subsidy other than government will be added. Yes, so subsidy is rupees 5000 and that's it after that they are just giving you a discount now remember discount will always be less so a discount given here is 5% on list price of 60,000 into 5% is 3000 they are going to get a discount of 3000 that's negative so we add up so I get the value as 60,000 plus 10,000 plus 2,500 plus 1000 plus 2500 plus 2000 plus 5000 minus 3000 we get the value as 80,000 on this 80,000 we have to add up CGST and SGST at the rate of 2.5% each because that's given in the question so 80,000 into 2.5% is 2000 to 2000 is CGST, 2000 is SGST. When you add up, you get the total value as 84,000. That is nothing but value of supply. 84,000 rupees. Okay. So these were the two different types of sums which can come under value of supply. One includes the list, uh, list price inclusive of GST. The other one exclusive of GST. Okay, you can have with discount without discount. 
okay but basically this is the format that you will have to remember okay the sum is very simple you just need to understand what are the things which is included and which are not included and based on that you all can solve any sum okay so i hope everyone have understood both the sums are based on value of supply with that we will be ending this video here thank you